Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. Um, this is the third and final installment of this uh, painting. I had to fast forward this video because it turned out to be like an hour and a half of me just playing around, you know, doing the touch-ups, doing the details, fine-tuning it to get it the way I like it, you know, adding more color in here and there. And I did not even want to watch an hour and a half of myself do this, so <laughs> I sped it up four times. Um, and then it came out to like 20 minutes, and I figured that might be tolerable. Um, if you want to watch uh, how I finished this girl up, uh, basically, all I'm doing is um, touching up the last few areas with watercolors, um, adding in some more uh, color here and there that I see on the picture. I'm also evening out right here with the water on the brush. Um, any hard edges, you know, I'm kind of blending them out. Um, I think in the first video I said I wasn't going to worry about it in the beginning because I was going to be adding so much more. So I didn't know what would show, you know, in the final picture. So now that I was done with the watercoloring part, that's why I finally took, you know, a damp brush and kind of wiggled it around to blend in the, the hard edges. Right now I am... Uh, going to be using my Posca pens and Posca pens are pens that are filled with basically acrylic paint and they do not uh, reactivate the watercolor so it's perfect for um, adding on you know more layers here and they're also used a lot when we do like art journal pages because we lay down so much different mixed media the, pop, the paint pens really do go over it and cover it without messing up the, the lower layers. Um, these are pretty much just little marks and doodads, little squares here and there of color, some scribbling. Um, there's going to be a, like a leaf pattern, some tick marks, you know, just to kind of fill in the background with the uh, imagery. And then I know I had forgotten to paint the eyes. So, towards the end, I'm going to be using some colored pencils. Um, I'm not going to dot too much during this. I think I'll play some music because basically um, it's all just touch up, just um, comparing my girl to the original image, adding color here and there wherever I like it. I added some stuff that she didn't have. Um, and I'm just having fun. I mean, playing with paints and markers and everything is just fun. Um, I remembered to use my finger to blend out the boss, the Posca pen. You know, it lays down its, its line of paint. And if you use your finger to smudge it out, it spreads it out, but it also gives it like a dry brush look, which is a, what I really needed for the hair. But it's been like three years since I've played with the Posca pens. You know, it took me a minute or two to uh, realize it. And then I was just like jumping for joy. Oh, yeah, it's coming up. Um, yeah, unfortunately, there's a lot of my face in this video because I was really, I tend to want to look closely to make sure I'm in the lines of stuff. See, here's where I realize, ooh, I can smudge it and it gives me the effect that I want. <laughs> So then I was just thought, woohoo, let's do some more in different colors. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, I hope you give this a try. You know, just give painting a try, give drawing a try. You know, I don't feel like I'm a professional. I never will be. Um, I just started doing this, you know, in the beginning of the month, maybe December, I'm not sure. Um, and I've just been having fun. And that's the main thing. I'm not putting any pressure on myself. These paintings don't look entirely exactly like them, the originals. 
Um, if you struggle with drawing, you can print the pictures out, use a piece of carbon paper and trace it on to, you know, your, your substrate, your watercolor paper or whatever you're going to be using. Um, there's no shame in that. <laughs> you know, everybody recommends that, you know. If you're going to let that stop you, don't. You know, there's a way to get these images drawn and then just paint and have fun. And there's boo-boos that you can fix. You know, I'm fixing the hair that I messed up the first time. So it's all about no pressure. It's all about creativity and being yourself and and just enjoying it. And I just hope that, you know, I can inspire you to try so I'm going to play some relaxing jazz music <laughs> for the rest of the video because I'm going to run out of things to say. Okay, happy crafting. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.